Good day students. Welcome to MathGoodServe.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over um, number six of the 1969 AP Calculus Multiple Choice Police Questions. And um, this one is focused on limits, which is part one of our uh, review series for the AP exam. So for number six, we. It is what is the limit as h approaches zero of eight times the quantity one half plus h to the eighth power minus eight times one half to the eight over h. Now this is um, a derivative problem written in limit form. Okay, so whenever you see a problem like this, you want to convert it into a derivative problem and evaluate the derivative at the specified point. So how is this possibly a derivative problem? Well, we have to go back to the limit definition of a derivative. Now, there are two limit definitions of a derivative that you will see in the AP exam. This one is the one that involves h approaching zero. So let's go ahead and write down um, the formula. So we have the uh, derivative f prime of x, f prime of x, <clears throat> in the limit definition form can be written as the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x the entire thing divided by h, okay? All right, so this is um, the limit definition of a derivative for finding the derivative at an arbitrary x value, okay? So what if we fixed x at a particular point? So f prime of a, for example, what will f prime of a be if we wanted to apply the limit definition of a derivative. Well, simply going to be exactly the same thing, but we'll substitute a for x. So it will be the limit as h approaches zero of f of, instead of x plus h, it will be a plus h, okay, minus f of a, and then the entire thing divided by h, all right? Okay, so this is how you find a derivative at a point if you want to express it using limits. Now let's go ahead and apply um, this formulas to this problem right here, okay? I'm going to write down this limit and we'll see if we can determine what the function is and the value that we are expressing, we are finding the derivative at, okay? So the problem is the limit as h approaches zero of eight times one half plus h raised to the eighth power. You might ask, well, why did I write one half in a different color? Notice whatever you're adding to h, they're all in blue, right? So that's why I'm writing this one in blue because that's what I'm adding to h here. Minus eight times one half again raised to the eighth power divided by h. So expressing this limit using this format, can you can you see what we're dealing with here? What is this? This is f prime of what? F prime of one half. Okay, f prime of one half. So the question now is, um, what is the function that we are going to differentiate and then evaluate at one half? Notice that the, in the original form, um, the limit definition of a derivative, you have f of x here. But when you're looking for the derivative at a point, it becomes f of a. So in essence, this uh, term right here is f of a. Let's go ahead and indicate what that is. This piece right here. 
this entire term is f of a, where a is equal to one half. Okay? And then what is this entire term right here? What is it? This entire term is f of a plus h. This is f of a plus h, where a is equal to one half also. Okay, so this is f of a, this is f of a plus h. So if f of a is, let's write this down, f of a, which is f of 12, if f of 12, I'm sorry, f of 1 half, if f of 1 half equals um, 8 times 1 half to the 8th power, now what is f of x going to be? What is f of x? f of x is simply going to be the same thing, but we're replacing 1 half with x. So it's going to be 8 times x to the 8th power. Okay, so this is the function that we're looking for the derivative of. So this expression right here is simply telling us to find the derivative of this function where x is equal to um, 1 half. All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite the problem. Rewrite. <clears throat> we write the problem. So we have to find f prime of one half where f of x is equal to 8x to the 8th. This is a very easy problem to do, but when it's written on the limit form, it becomes a little bit complicated to understand, all right? So to find the f prime of 1 half where f of x is equal to 8x to the 8th power, we are going to make use of two steps. Okay, step number one, we're going to find the derivative, find f prime of x. And then step two, we are going to evaluate. Okay, we're going to evaluate at x equals 1 half. We'll fix the derivative, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and find the derivative first. So um, f of x is 8x to the 8th power. So using the power rule, f prime of x is going to be 64x to the 7th power. Okay, so we're done with, with step one, which is to find the derivative. Step two is to evaluate, okay? We want to find the derivative when x is 1 half. How do we do that? We simply substitute 1 half for x. So we have 64 times 1 half raised to the 7th power. Now using the quotient property of exponents, um, we can distribute this 7 to the numerator and the denominator. Since we're going to have a power of 2, we might as well express 64 as a power of 2. So we can reduce our um, fractions with ease, okay? So 64 is 2 to the 6th power times 1 to the 7th power is just 1. Let's just write it down. 1 to the 7th power over 2 to the 7th power, okay? And then if we simplify this, we have 2 to the 6th power divided by 2 to the 7th power. And then using the quotient property of exponents, we just simply subtract the powers. We have 1 over 2. And that is your final answer. Option letter B. Okay? So anytime you see a limit in this format, the first thing you want to do is find what the function is and what you're finding the derivative, where you're finding the derivative at. Find the derivative of the function and evaluate it at that value, okay? So this is a derivative problem expressed in limit form. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. If you have any questions about this presentation or any AP Calculus problems, um, feel free to include it in the comment section below and we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a wonderful day.